This protocol uses the concept of directed evolution to engineer progressed thermostability to the bacteriolytic endolysin, ply C. First, determine the optimal heating conditions that will be used during the screening process of this methodology. Next, use the error-prone polymerase chain reaction to generate the mutant library. Screen the mutant library using the heating conditions elucidated during the first step. Finally, analyze the residual enzyme kinetics of the mutants to identify variants with improved thermal properties. The mutants displaying the most progressed kinetic stability will serve as the lead candidates for the next round of screening. As a proof of concept, one round of screening yielded a Ply-C mutant that displayed a 2.2-fold increase in half-life at 45 degrees Celsius. We developed the following protocol, which can be directed towards any type of bacteriolytic enzyme with the intent of enhancing the protein's thermostability. Ryan Hesselpoth, a graduate student in my laboratory, will now demonstrate the experiment. The model bacteriolytic enzyme used in this protocol, which is the streptococcal endolysin Ply-C, consists of Ply-CA and Ply-CB subunits, which come together by means of protein-protein interactions to form the hollow enzyme structure. The Ply-CA gene itself encodes the thermolabile catalytic subunit of the enzyme, whereas the Ply-CB gene encodes the thermostable peptidoglycan binding domain. To determine the optimal incubation temperature for screening the Ply-C hollow enzyme, first...